hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a fun DIY video and I'm making it like vlog style so I'll be bringing you guys along with me today I'm standing on my balcony and I used to never come out here recently during quarantine and especially since Paris didn't happen I've been out here a lot more my friend Lauren which you'll meet in today's video she asked me she said Zara do you have your balcony fixed up nice and I was like no it's super basic out here so she offered to help me kind of redo my my balcony and make it my little you know escape get like really nice and cozy for me and it's gonna be you know super fun out here I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now we're gonna do like a DIY before and after type of thing today we're actually gonna meet up <laughs> at Ikea so I'm about to leave to head out to Ikea but I want to show you guys what it looks like now like it's very basic like this is what I'm working with so as you see that is super super basic Lauren is gonna help me transform this space out here and just make it really special so let's get started I'll see you in a second so we are at Ikea and we're picking out stuff now to decorate. I did set a budget for $300. So I wanna keep it under $300. So let's see if we could do that. Still shopping, this is what we have so far. Hey guys, so it's the entire next day. I am sitting on my balcony and I just wanted to give you guys an update. So I tried my best to document this entire DIY and the entire plan just didn't work out. It started off as a fun day. My friend Lauren, you guys saw briefly in that clip, she was such a good sport this was her entire idea so she noticed that i had been spending more time out on my balcony basically since quarantine but especially since not going to paris she's really into like decorating and organizing like she's just a genius when it comes to all of that stuff so she suggested she was like well do you want to kind of redecorate out there and i'll help you and that's what we were doing yesterday totally her idea and her inspiration i picked out some things from ikea and we were just literally going to ikea to pick this stuff up off the shelves bring it back to my place and set it all up when we started building the first major piece of furniture which was the bench and maybe i'll put in a picture of the original bench i was supposed to be getting that bench there was a piece in the box that did not match and so we couldn't keep building it so we had to undo what we had gotten up so far go back to ikea and we had to go to a different ikea that was even further away and by the time we got there and to do the return and all the bench that i was originally planning on having sold out so now we had to kind of redo everything because the bench was kind of the center point right so we had to make it work with what we have so although we did a, a phenomenal job and i'm going to show you guys what we ended up accomplishing there's still a few other things i need to pick up to go with the current bench and i'm sitting on it now i'm gonna get up and show you guys what everything looks like but yeah it didn't go as planned and therefore i couldn't document it as i intended and we literally were building and it was dark out when we were building this bench and it literally turned into almost a 12-hour job so I'm super thankful to my friend. Thank you so much, Lauren. You were such a huge help and I could not have done this without you. So I so appreciate her and thank you so much. But let me show you guys quickly what we did. I'm gonna add a few more finishing touches, but the furniture pieces and all are all set so you guys can see that. It's obviously beautiful out here if you can hear the birds, you know, make some more content for you guys and spend some more time. And I will say, considering we're all spending more time at home, it is nice to find an area in your home and kind of make it your own. Let me show you guys what we did. And 
how we had to improvise and get a new bench and kind of make it work. So let me show you guys what we did. Okay guys, so this is the bench. So it's this kind of tower bench. This is a metal bench, so it's definitely different from what we were gonna go with initially. So as you see, I have a lantern up there and I do wanna add again some more finishing touches out here. So we got these, these cushions and this little accent cushion, which is actually my favorite. You guys know I've been loving purple. So I wanted to do some purple and we're doing like lots of purple and blush tones out here. Got these cushions for the bench. And then we have this little table here, which is like a little pink, I think it was a plant, using it kind of like an end table. We have like these little miniature flowers there super cute and it just goes so lovely with the colors and how the bench turned out I really really loved it so Lauren actually preferred this bench anyways so it kind of worked out like what she thought was best and I need to do something because this door I don't use it like we have like you know boiler room type things in there so I don't go in there often so I want to do something to cover it and make it kind of just more cozy obviously this is my view this is kind of my um what my balcony overlooks here so that's my original furniture that was out here and just moved it to the other side now behind that door is like my storage so I will kind of occasionally be in and out of that door we have like this little table little box a little flower there and then obviously we got this great outdoor rug and the rug all of this stuff is from ikea guys but the rug is an outdoor rug and it's like a dark gray color it's coming up very blue on camera but it's dark gray and it was just perfect perfect size for out here and i think an outdoor rug definitely makes your outdoor space more cozy the highlight of everything is this poof I can't tell you how excited I am for this poop. You can use it as a footstool. It can be an extra chair. So I have quite a bit of seating out here. Now I have like two people can sit on the bench technically. The two chairs over here. And the poof is actually a footstool and a chair. It's very sturdy. I have seating for five out here now. Which originally I only had to these two chairs. So... I think it's a great use of my space. I need to do some finishing touches for the top of the bench and the backdrop on the door. But as far as the furniture, color scheme, and little pieces to kind of decorate, we definitely nailed it considering all of the challenges we had yesterday. And I am super, super, I'm just loving it and so happy to be out here. So this morning I sat in this chair here and I put my feet up on my little footstool and this was my view as I had my coffee this morning and I was so taking it in so isn't this gorgeous I am super super excited so guys and that's it I'm just gonna end it here I'm gonna hang out here and enjoy the view thank you so much for watching today till next time guys